I'm Natural Smarty. Let's take a look at how to identify Norway spruce, Picea abies. This was the 2020 Christmas tree in downtown New York, Rockefeller Center, where a surprise guest was discovered, the northern sawwit owl. This was a big tree, 75 foot tall, 11 tons. And that's typical of Norway spruce. They grow to 75, 80 feet tall. Their spread can be 35, 40 feet. It's a big tree, fast growing softwood. So if it's timber is used, it's used for things like paper, and instruments, woodwind instruments, acoustic instruments. Let's dig in. We'll look at the needles, cones, bark. Here we go. They're so often planted in patches and rows, and it's easy to pick up on that pyramidal shape up near the canopy. That does round out, though, with age. Before examining the needles more closely, take a look at what's hanging down, drooping down from these horizontal branches. It's clumps of needles. That's a trait that you can spot from a distance on Norway spruce. As we take a closer look at these needles, they're short, they're blunt tipped. They are quadrangular in shape, but without a 10X or a hand lens, you're not gonna pick up on that. What you can notice though, is that if you squeeze one of these branches, you're not poked by the needles because they're growing forward along the branch. They sort of lay down with the branch. And upon real close examination, you'll notice these longitudinal lines. That's the stomata, the areas for gas exchange. I don't find the bark particularly useful for identification, but you will notice these different shades of brown to red and these circular flakes that'll help you rule out other tree species. Lucky me to find this cone before it's been completely munched on by squirrels like this. These cones hang out near the canopy, so they're on the top half of the Norway spruce. The canopy is where those pollen flowers are. So that's how it's gonna reach maturity and grow those fertilized seeds underneath these scales. Take a look at the scales. They do not end in a point. They're flat topped, almost a little wavy. In addition to those hungry squirrels, other wildlife can utilize the Norway spruce as well. Roosting hawks, owls, as we've seen. Mammals can use it for warm cover through winter. Despite all that, it's still considered an invasive species by natural resource specialists. You see, it is distributed across the eastern part of the United States and up into Canada, but it's not native, it's introduced. Its native homeland is actually Europe. Either way, now you have the tools to get out there and identify a Norway spruce. Good luck.